Hello, everybody. Uh, nice try, Gona. Hey, everyone. Um, we have a special episode today of The Soul's Confidant. We're doing a nice little developmental scene with Eleanor and special guest Gona. So as always, when we first start off our games, uh, we're all going to say hi, who we're playing in their character sentence. Hi, I'm Mare. I use they, she pronouns, and I am your game master for tonight. And let's start with our guest today. Hi, I'm Gona. I use she, her pronouns, but I will be playing Carousel, who uses he, him pronouns. And he is an established stoic of the Order of Makers who turns tales into reality. And Alex. And that's me. Hello, everybody. My name is Alex. I use they, them pronouns. And tonight I will be playing Eleanor, who uses she, her pronouns, and who is a connected empathic maker who revels in beauty. Yeah, so um, we did one of these before with Alecto and Roshni. Um, so we're going to just be doing something similar this time around, but with Eleanor, who wants to learn some new uh, skills. So, Alex, would you like to set the scene, please, on what you're trying to learn, what you're trying to do, who you reach out to, and why? Oh, after I read the first card of the night. Ooh, okay. That is important. Um, on the Silver Sun. I have the lost star. Value of eight, notions, cats, clocks, and wind. Meaning is good or bad luck, great distance, great age, and great value. We gaze into the night sky and we see the stars shining back down on us. We wonder what they really are, but that's a secret for another time. Stars represent a higher world where everything is magnified. Everything having to do with the stars is far greater than it would be in our world. Love burns brighter. Gems sparkle more beautifully, and children sing more sweetly. At the same time, disasters are more calamitous. Anger seeps, seethes more deeply, and armies wage wars far longer. Gray magic is enhanced, and indigo is diminished. We don't have any ardents in the group tonight, so that does not matter. Now it's on to you. All right, so let's see. Uh, at some point in the... I don't even know if this is the indeterminate future or the indeterminate past, but at some point in indeterminate time, Eleanor has been interested in acquiring some new skills, partially spurred on by the fact that she's gotten herself involved into some shit TM. And as a result of wanting to learn some new skills and make some new things, and partially out of nostalgia and respect for someone I knew a long time ago, and partially out of like, oh, this is like a gen genuinely useful capability. I've been looking into makers who do glass blowing and making things out of glass. And my looking for makers has led me evidently to Carousel, whom I have written a letter to, I believe I, sent you something along the lines of what that would be question mark a while ago yeah which is just basically hi i'm a maker too i know of you i know you do good work etc 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 can you show me some things about glass blowing i can pay you and i just sort of put that out into the ether <laughs> and wait for a response um carousel at some point during this indeterminate past, indeterminate future, you did receive a letter from a maker uh, by the name of Eleanor Ashley Avon. Um, do you know her? How involved are you in like the big scheme of makers? I know they're a little obscure, kind of a very loose knit order, but everyone has their contacts. So do you know who Eleanor is? So... Carousel has probably heard about uh, Eleanor, at least at least through grapevines, because it does tend to be when makers get together, uh, they'll always, well, have you heard about this maker who did thus mm -hmm. and such? And because, I mean, we, we don't want to say that it's, it's an who can grow the biggest eggplant competition, but it kind of is. Everyone's trying to outdo the other just in the sense of what can we make? What can we do better? What can we explore? And so uh, he's he's heard of Eleanor, but doesn't really know much beyond that. Uh, the moment, however, that he sees this letter and uh, reads that he can be paid, uh, as you may or may not, Carousel is very broke, 
And so uh, the, the idea of money coming into the house that comes from his pockets instead of uh, Seth's sounds amazing. <laughs> uh, general high level knowledge, uh, since a little bit pe people know people through the gate right, fine, you would know that Eleanor is uh, mostly works in painting and that she is the proprietor of an establishment called the House Without, Without a Key, which is basically a safe haven for anyone who needs a warm meal and a bed and a safe place to stay. How would you respond to Eleanor? And where would you tell her to meet? How would you go about this and set up this meeting? Uh, so the, the first and foremost, you would have to know that like he took out his notebook and he probably wrote this letter back five to ten times and uh by by the time he was on his ninth try set came in from work and uh took the pen out of carousel's hand and just sat down and wrote it out uh of you get this very eloquent letter how i would love to be able to pass on what knowledge i do have and help you in whatever way you need Payment would be wonderful, is not necessary, because sometimes it's good just to teach someone so that there's more knowledge in the world. Uh, Carousel skims over it and says, yeah, sure, whatever, but I really want to get paid. And at the bottom, make sure to sign uh, Carousel Rochester Ovamaya the Third, which is not his real name, but it looked really cool when she had the or when uh, Eleanor had the, the full name mm. up there. Did you sign your name or did Set sign your name? Carousel signed his name. Yeah, so the signature and the letter are in completely different handwriting. <laughs> gotcha. So when I, especially when I'm reading over the lines that are like, oh, you don't have to pay me. Does that smell like bullshit? Does it, Carousel? Uh. It mostly looks like probably this is uh, this is someone being polite. This mm. is someone who is trying not to look desperate because okay. Carousel is fine with looking desperate. Mm -hmm. Set less so. Set has okay, a little gotcha. bit of pride. He does. He does. Just a little smidge. Uh, yeah. So, where do you suggest meeting up with Eleanor in this letter? Uh. Yeah, Carousel has no sense of self-preservation. Just invites Eleanor to the house, to the mushroom house. So the day comes in this indeterminate future of this exchange of letters where you come up to a... I don't think you've ever been here, but it does look a fam little familiar because you did see a mushroom-laden cottage in the painting that you showed Teth. Mm-hmm. Caris, uh, uh, Carousel, would you like to give a little bit more description on what this house looks like from the outside as Eleanor approaches? Uh, so from further away, as you're looking, it, it looks kind of like a log cabin, just a regular log cabin that maybe like it's got a textured paint. But then as you're coming closer, uh, you can see that it's not paint, it's not splotches, it's mushrooms growing out. And there are anything from shelved mushrooms to uh, rooted mushrooms growing on and around the house. Um, you can see that fairly recently there was an expansion added onto this house. And that expansion has just like regular wood but you can see that the mushrooms are encroaching and growing around it in order to uh, add it as part of its home. And something that you would notice in general, Eleanor, as you approach, because from our last campaign, uh, Zephyr planted a little swan token in your garden. So the mushrooms here are growing very well, very strong, vibrant, healthy. Um, and very fast. The second thing you would notice as you come up onto this house, um, not the front door, not the front part with the windows, but vaguely from the side, you see a tall, scrawny looking motherfucker staring through the window. And as they see you approach, they look at you, 
And then they fucking scarf her. There, it looks like there's a handful of mushrooms in their hand. Mm -hmm. Sure. One thing I will do as I approach the house is I sort of are taking in, especially all of like the mushrooms and stuff. I stop and reach into my bag and as if I'm writing something down completely unrelated, like, oh shit, I should grab like eggs on the way home. I take quick notes about what kind of mushrooms and things I see, but specifically what color they are. So I know that I can come back here if I'm looking for like a specific color that maybe Alana cannot provide. So I'm noting and like in like weird detail what specific color like it's not just yellow it's like cadmium yellow and like just really really particular color names and mushrooms can get some wild colors exactly <laughs> mm -hmm. uh but yes you have this quaint little cottage with an addition a shit ton of mushrooms before you as you mm -hmm. approach yep so I, I put take my notes put that back in my bag the perch and Uh, you, you can you can hear a rustle inside the house uh, as like there, there's a clamor and you can you can kind of hear oh shit they're here they're here okay uh huh uh, uh set go 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 uh, and the door opens and you actually see a uh, medium height uh, black gentleman dreads uh, he has on a like, it's a buttoned up white shirt, but it's rolled up to the the three fourths with a mm -hmm. nice vest. Uh, and you can see that he has this smirk on his face. Something something had been going mm -hmm. on there. And uh, he, he kind of nods and says, oh, hello, is there company tonight? Um, maybe. I'm looking for, and uh, Eleanor will actually give the full name that, that, oh gosh, I, I don't remember Carousel's full name that he signed, something like the third, but I will give a full name. I'm looking for, full bullshit name. I uh, <laughs> we were, he was going to be showing me some class bottom techniques, I believe. And this, this man, uh, holds out his hand to you i'm set and i can't i tried to tell him not to put that whole frankly bullshit name on the paper but car has been waiting for you good to know on both counts like mentally like oh that's not a full that's not a real name hmm. and um he steps aside and lets you in yep i go right on in as you uh. enter there is, um, does your front door open like to a kitchen, a sitting area? Uh, uh, so initially when you come in, it is a sitting area. Um, and there's like two couches and then a like coffee table between them. And then on this side, there are two uh, rocking chairs that are nice and plush. And you can see like there's an occasional mushroom growing off of them but they seem to be just kind of out of the way more decoration than anything else um, um there is a kitchen over to your your left and that there you can see carousel is like doing something with pots and pans and put getting food out of an oven you also see on one of the rocking chairs a gray cat who is currently grooming their uh, back. And as you enter, he perks up, scrutinizes you. Carousel, your company's here. From this cat. I'm absolutely delighted by the speaking cat. And he's wearing a bow tie for the evening. Adorable, I love. And then he goes back to grooming, uh, licking, uh, Lifting his leg up in the air and continuing. Mm. It's it's all of the above. It's all of the above. Uh, Carousel like goes to stand up a little too quickly and wangs his head on the uh, mm. that oh you know the thing that the air comes out of for, the vent for stove the vent yeah 
and he just like turns and you know writes himself and hello i am carousel richardson octavio the fourth set leans down a little bit to uh just like put his head on level with yours so he can like say something in your ear without carousel hearing have fun and then he will uh grab a book from the coffee table and walk away i will approach and like for reference like eleanor is maybe like five five or so so Probably very short as compared to Carousel. Yeah, and I so, think I have his cannon height as like 6'2 or something. I have no, I don't remember. Good. This is him tall this, boy. This is information yeah. you're supposed to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I don't remember it. I'm mm -hmm. saying I don't he big. have it up. If he's not tall, he's definitely broad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> very broad. But yeah, I will go right up to... Or was it Carousel Richardson Octavian the Fourth? Which I'm pretty sure did not match the fucking paper. No, not at all. <laughs> but you know, I'll, I'll humor him. I won't. I won't even mention it. Oh, it's not hello, uh, Eleanor. Wonderful to meet you. And uh, he he puts a hand out. Stand if, very if small hand. Shakes See. it vigorously. I am so excited for this. You know, I. You sometimes run into makers out in the wild, but it's so rare to actually get to, like, kind of collaborate, to really work with another maker, unless you're, like, getting up in the levels and all that, mm -hmm. you know, bureaucracy stuff. Yeah, and it's nice to meet someone and not automatically be competing with them. Exactly, right? It's so good to work together. It's yeah. so cool. Uh, so, uh... And he he moves you over towards an island that has like stools all around it, and you can see that there it, he has prepared food, and it's anything from like their little quiches mm -hmm. to like a charcuterie tray, and absolutely everything has mushrooms somewhere in it. It's not pure vegetarian, but mm -hmm. like there's a lot of mushrooms. Yeah. Does Eleanor yeah. like mushrooms? Yeah. Okay. I mean, assuming that these are like, you know, the good kind that are safe to eat. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, these are, these are all, don't, don't worry. I, uh, I, I have, uh, I, I have a book that tells me like what's safe to eat and what's not. I haven't died yet. <laughs> well, I can see that. I'll take a little food and just sort of nibble on small things. Uh, he, he also takes out a stool and um, a notebook and he kind of like gets a little plate and puts food on it and starts eating it as he's talking. So you want to learn like just glass blowing. You want what what are you what are you looking to make? Like you want to just make pretty vases or do you want it to be like durable? I don't think I need anything very durable yet. The cat so, Metatron. The basics will be fine for now. The cat Metatron like makes a running jump onto the middle island. Um, first of all, take the bite of your quiche uh, carousel. He can teach you how he to like make- He holds it out so that he can get better bites. He can, he can teach you how to make glass knuckles. That's true. Uh, I've I've made weapon. Honestly, a lot of, I guess a lot of the things I've made have been weapons, but also non weaponry. I can do non weaponry, and then he eats that same quiche. Mm. Uh, but if if you I've, just want basics, like I scribble down in my notebook to get a size for Electo's hands, and then dash glass knuckles. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, actually. I have a friend who might... Well, I don't know if they would like it, but... They would... As close to liking it as they're capable of. Uh, he... he Takes some of the, uh, like, the cheeses and the meats, and he... 
actually goes through his notebook and he shows you some pictures of mm -hmm. things that he has made. Uh, and you, you can see on there that there's uh, the glass knuckles. There is like there's there's a very, very large sword next to a small sheath. Mm -hmm. And then there's one where that very large sword is inside the sheath, but the sheath is not like mm -hmm. a lot bigger. Um, and you can see that there is a picture of a with this picture in particular, there is a hand uh, holding a moth's arm and there is a little circlet with a glass bead. Uh, so these these are some things that I have made that I've been very proud of. Uh, two incredible. of them are more durable. One of them's more like pretty, pretty shiny, shiny. If you can put two I'm, and two together, that's Malthula from the Benighted Song. Yeah, yeah. I, w I wasn't going to say it, but yeah. I'll say it. <laughs> I'm generally not... I don't quite have the sense for making weapons, so I will stick to... Pretty, I'll pretty let the shiny, magic... shiny? Yeah, I'll let the magic be the functional part. Perfect. Uh... So, uh, first thing that I would do, uh, is, is like, you're going to spend a lot of money on glass. Uh, if you're doing pretty, pretty shiny, shiny. So I tend to, uh, and he flips to other notes. Mm. I tend to make it so that the wire goes through the glass in order to help reinforce it. Mm -hmm. So that's something that you can do in the future if you want but for now, I mean, if you're if you're doing pretty pretty shiny shiny, uh, that's more just working with the glass itself. Uh, Good to know. And he, he takes another quiche. So um, for that, we'll probably need to move downstairs. All right. But you know, if you if you want to sit and eat and tell me of your tales, uh, that's cool too. Oh, I don't think I have many tales to tell exactly, but. I'm sure you have one, says Metatron, taking, like, some miscellaneous thing from your plate now, Eleanor. Right, sure. Because I'll Carson just, like... love stories. I will, like, acknowledge that the cat has taken a food and just, like, sort of push it towards the cat as, like, okay, this is yours now. <laughs> How did you... And I promise I'm going somewhere with this. How did you come into this house? Did you purchase it directly from the previous owner or? Uh, so, uh, not, not in so many words. Uh, I did not have what you would call money when I came over from Shadow. But to be fair, uh, I don't think I came in the same way that most people did so i i just kind of i don't want to say fell into it but it was one of those i i was looking for a, a place to stay a home and uh someone was moving out of this house and like gave it to me for a song like i think i literally just had to tell them a story uh, which gave them a spell, and that was, and I, I got all of this. Yeah, for reference, go on, uh, Carousel, it was a, the people that you purchased this house from was a middle-aged couple who just could not stand the mushrooms. <laughs> they purchased it probably like three months before you came along and they just could not handle it and it was it was kind of funny because uh when i when i first came here like you could see that there were little mushroom spores everywhere and you could even some were starting to pop out but they had very evidently been trying to just eradicate all of the uh all of the mushrooms and uh you know i moved in and just let them thrive they're they're kicking ass they're taking names pretty sure they're you know more structure than wood for the house 
This house used to be Anya's, correct? Correct, before the war. And okay, but, oh, before the war, okay. She, Anya, so died, long before, time ago. Anya okay. died before the war, yes. Okay, interesting. So yeah, um, you do know it used to be her house. Um, anything between then and now is new knowledge. Gotcha, sure thing, okay. I, um, I used to know the person who lived here before uh, the war. She oh. was also a maker. She worked in glass. No doubt. When I, when I found out that you did too, I um I knew I had to I had to ask. I had to look into it. Uh, I mean did, was this was this all just a ruse to try and get into my house? I promise this was not just a ruse to try and get into your house. But it wouldn't be the first time someone's tried to get in the house. <laughs> right, right. Gives Metatron head scratches. <laughs> but Zephyr fixed that for us. She did. I still see a, see them. Yeah, they can't get in. It's fine. All the all the really deadly mushrooms are in the basement and other places in the house. Outside mostly at least innocuous maybe mostly, not edible but innocuous mostly innocuous like okay is some cause numbing uh there was one time that i found a blue mushroom out there and you know i made sure to pick that and get rid of it but mostly and, and you said that we would be going downstairs to do the glasswork, and that's where the actually dangerous mushrooms are. Yeah. Got it. Just don't eat them and you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. I do tend to make a habit out of not eating the unidentified vegetation in other people's houses. That's smart. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I, we all remember uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factories, people licking walls and snozberries tasting like snozberries. Don't lick the walls, Tural. Why? I like listen to that statement and just nod along because honestly, it sounds like some Bisley shit. So I'm like, oh, this must be just some part of Saturine that I missed. This just this be like another neighborhood, maybe outside of Far Town. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh yes, yes. Snozberries. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, it, yeah, I, I have a working theory that it's because the magic is more concentrated down there. And so, like, that's where the more potent mushrooms are. And, you know, when you're eating, potency doesn't tend to translate to more food. It tends to translate to more poison. That's my working theory. Maybe, maybe it's by design. Uh, you could ask your friend... Rich friend, and is he that takes a, a long sip. <laughs> Which friend is that a reference to? The 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 person who used to own this house. Oh, oh okay. Sorry, that was an Alex question. I got. I'm sorry. That's my bad. Oh, um, okay. No so problem. yeah. So I'll, I'll. Oh, she's um. She's not in Saturday anymore. Oh. Just kind of leave it at that. Yeah. Oof. I don't, I don't suppose, like, I don't mean to pry, and you can absolutely tell me if I am, and tell me, you know, the fuck off or whatever. <laughs> like, she's in shadow and having a good time and, like, eating some nice hot dogs, or just not existing. She exists. Cool. She's just dead. Uh, I don't really know what the pale is like, but... Ah. Apparently that's home now. I am sorry for your loss. It's all right. I, um... I don't really know how that works, honestly. I mean, I know you die and you go somewhere else, but I don't know. The dead don't seem to mind. That's true. So, if they don't mind, I don't even know if it's my place to be upset about it. I miss her, but... 
Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're right, you're right. Uh, wipes his hands off on his <laughs> pants again. And uh, you, you know what? Uh, we can leave this here. Set will eat when we leave. Uh, oh, you think Set's gonna get all any of this? You, and like, he, he picks up Metatron. You cannot eat all of this. You will become Watch fat me. cat. Watch the me. fattest cat. Watch me. You won't be able to chase around uh, Samuel anymore. Won't be able to have fun. It'll be fine. He tucks or he, he tucks Metatron under his arm. Let's go in the basement. Let's go in the basement. Pet 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 pet. Um. So, from this kitchen area, if you go more towards the back of the house uh there is a staircase that goes down one two uh and as you're going down the stairs you can see that here there are more shelf mushrooms mm -hmm. than rooted mushrooms mm -hmm. uh and especially down in the basement itself uh you can see that this that those shelved mushrooms are where Carousel tends to put his tools mm -hmm. and uh, little Shelf things that he's made. Indeed. Exactly. Uh, and as you get further down, you can see that there there is a large workbench with like half finished things, things that still need to get put together. Uh, any any number of projects that are being worked on for his store. Uh, and in one corner in particular, the one that he is leading you towards, there is a kiln. And it, it's it got a little bit of fire in it, but not enough to, like, mm. make any temperature difference. Yeah. It's a nice big glory hole, which is the actual term for a um, glass blowing furnace. Carousel never calls it that, though, because he is not mature enough. Mm. <laughs> Listen, if you didn't think I didn't watch Blown Away a shit ton before playing Anya. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> I love that. I love that show so much. Uh, so he, he, as you get down to the very bottom of the stairs, he turns to one of the shelves and gets an apron. Mm-hmm puts it on himself, gets another smaller apron, gives it to you, goggles, uh, gloves, mm -hmm. all, all the PPE. Yeah. Uh, you also notice he takes a moment and he puts like a little bit of protective gear on Metatron as well. It's just like, it's a helmet for eye and ear protection and then mm -hmm. like a little vest. Careful with the ears. They got folded up last time you put this on me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and fixes it. Mm. And uh, himself, he, uh, uh, Metatron kind of makes his way into like a small like bed on kind of halfway between the, uh, I'll, I'll call it a kiln since that's what mm. Carousel calls it, um, and like some of the tools because that's, mm. a, there's a bed right there because it's warm, but out of the danger zone. Mm. Uh, you can see that there is a, a particular area that seems to be a blast radius of mm -hmm. past issues. <laughs> uh, there's still mushrooms there, but like it's a much darker wall and mm -hmm. they are much smaller. Uh, so this is uh, this is the shop. Uh, and he starts going through and showing you some of the tools that he uses. Mm -hmm. uh, tongs, uh, there is this long tubular thing. It's, it's a big straw, let's yeah. be honest, mm -hmm. for the actual blowing itself. Mm -hmm. um, uh, let's see. And like pliers, just all, all the stuff, all the accoutrement. Mm -hmm. and don't forget mm -hmm. colors. And the colors. Um, over on one of the things, there's, it looks like sand. We know mm -hmm. it's glass of all colors of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. Um so do you want to, like, how do you learn best? Do you take notes? Do you want to just, like, boom, we'll jump into it and try making something? Do you want to... I'll take notes and watch to start. 
Okay. If that's okay. okay with you. That's absolutely fine. Uh, let's see. Let's see. And uh, he, he goes through and you can see that he's kind of looking at what he has. Says, uh, how about uh, just a little, uh, uh, a little necklace? Because, I mean, we all know how easy that is to be able to put a spell into, right? Uh, so, let's see. And he, he takes a little bit of stock and inventory and he grabs um, some glass. He goes to grab the wire and then like reminds himself, nope, we're not, we're not doing that. And instead uh, he grabs a handful of golden feathers and uh, he puts those together in a um, crucible in order to warm it up puts that into the glory hole, uh, giggles to himself and says, this is my kiln. Uh, you got to make sure to heat it up, make sure that there are no impurities, uh, which, you know, that doesn't seem to really happen a lot in Saturnine. Don't know why, uh, but just in case. And he puts the feathers and the glass. You can see them warm up and meld together. Uh, he takes one of the long um, straws and he sticks that in turns it and he can what are your favorite colors mm. that's difficult it's asking a painter what her favorite yeah. colors are <laughs> I'll tell you what tell you what look at the colors that I have and I want you to pick out three okay that I can do and I will pick out, I'll pick out three very warm colors. So like maybe one that's like a sort of like a burnt orange type color. So maybe something like that, some, some a very vibrant yellow. And then maybe something that's almost like a, like a pale reddish pink. Those are beautiful. And uh, he'll take it and he'll take the glass out of the kiln. And like what he does is he takes this and it's it's not a lot of glass. It's just like it's a very small amount. Um, and he takes it and he dips it into the pink and just like wedges it a mm. little bit. And he's, this is how you make sure that the color's on there. If you want it to be all the way around, you know, and uh, then another third and another third. Uh, from there, he puts it back into the kiln and he continues. He says, okay, I'm going to make it into a specific shape. What shape would you like? A sphere. A sphere. Perfect. Perfect. And uh, he takes it out and he like puts one, at one end of the uh, straw in his mouth and you can see that he has it like a very thick, thick, wet cloth that he uses to make it stay circular mm -hmm. as he's blowing into the straw. And between breaths, like when when he just needs it to warm up a little bit. He... So when you're doing this, you got to make sure that it's even breaths and that it's warm breaths. You got it. The moment that you start thinking cold or icy, even that can change it and continues blowing. Hey, Car. <laughs> what? When are you going to get an assistant? So someone else I'm can I'm not going to get an assistant. And then you can shape. Do you want to assist? Do you want to assist? Do you want to blow in the pipe? You won't let me. You said I'm going to burn I my won't. whiskers. Yes, I, yes, you will. Be easier uh, if you had help. And as as he finishes up that portion, you see him take the, the tongs and he pulls just a little bit from the end in order to make it so that it's a little like circle that'll connect there and can be put onto a um, necklace. And he sets that aside. It's it's. 
when I say it's mostly cooled, it's not glowing hot anymore. It's at that point where you can you can now tell it's glass, not metal. Mm-hmm. And uh, he places that over to the side and he says, uh, "So that's that's. I mean, that's the simple way to do it. That's that is. This has no magical properties. This doesn't do anything. Uh, it looks pretty. That's something. You wanna, it, it is. It is. You're right." Beauty, beauty. Uh, when we bring beauty into the world, we make it better. Uh, so, do you want to try making one? And I can show you how to imbue it with magic. Yeah, I think I could give it a try. Cool. And he, like, puts all of the tools back where they originally went, put away, and uh, just kind of steps back and Go for it. The first thing I will do, which I sort of like almost look at Carousel like a little timidly before I do this, but I sort of reach into my bag and produce a small like black metal chain that I sort of wrap around my hand in like a specific way and I whisper something in a language that is not my first language. And if Carousel has spent any time among Goetics, he might recognize this as some kind of a demonic language. And I will cast Vion's Teleosis as I pray a small, quick prayer that I learned from the Church of Midnight over the tools to help guide me in the creation of something. Being around around Alondra, you would recognize a demonic language. Maybe no, not Al- not Alondra. Alondra summoned angels. Um, you were around Soraya at the time, who had a demon with her. So you would recognize something uttered from its uh. many many mouths that one day when you went to the Glen of Memories. What? Why do you sound like Sticky? Exactly. Sticky. Uh. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That weird it's dog? A... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog. I don't think it was a dog. That's not a dog. That's like that's like Frankenweenie dog. I uh, probably not a dog. I. It's a small prayer I learned from the Church of Midnight. It helps me make things, for lack of a better word. Super cool. Yeah, go for it. Anything that'll help not burn my house down (laughs) that's a good policy and i will basically try to repeat as meticulously and closely to carousel what i saw would you like to roll to see if you succeed i would yeah do i know the challenge of this um it's not gonna be super hard What, what are you making just like the small sphere basically yeah pretty much something that's just a small waffle simple item yeah um, I'll say this is a challenge uh, three. Okay, sure. You can spend, you know, intellect from your intellect pool to make, and then your okay. plus one from your item that you base you basically cast an uh, cast a spell on the the, the, the pipe. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's really intelligence. I will spend if it comes from my intellect pool. I'll spend from there. I don't yet have any skills that are applicable. So yes, I will roll and hope I don't get a zero. Yes. You know, fuck it. I'm actually going to use a sword lich because I really don't want to burn Carousel's house down. No. But you're more likely to burn because then you have magic into the thing. Motherfucker. Did you? Hold on. Let me grab my things. No, you can't can't say the cuss words. You can't say the cuss words. Sorry, so what, what do you I did so on my regular on my normal die I did roll a zero. However, on my magic die okay. I rolled a four. Okay, so you did succeed. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure I'm glad that I used that sortilege now. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so you can describe what you do when you succeed in making uh, something extremely similar to what Carousel did. Yeah, so there is there is definitely some awkwardness and a lot of. Like just kind of fumbling around and not being entirely confident with the process and there are several points where it does seem like oh shit she really is going to burn the house down 
but I am able to pretty pretty rapidly course correct, and I, I do sort of put more magic into it than maybe is strictly necessary as just a way of controlling everything that's going on. But in, in the end, I do produce a glass sphere of similar size and quality. If I may add something to this. You may. Yeah, so since you did use Sortilage and you're using it basically to course correct Carousel, you do see this little blob of glass kind of like expand on one side, expand on another before it kind of like fixes itself into a more appropriate shape that Eleanor was going for. I mean, you, you know, you could have, you could a heart shape is good too, but uh, yeah, circle please. Just for now. Just for now. Uh, so once, once it's completely, uh, made, but has not yet been imbued with magic. How do you want us to do this? Do you want this to be a co-conspiracy effort? Do you want this to be just a, uh, I'm, I'm putting stuff in it to make it magic? Yeah, we're going to go loosey goosey on this because the maker's matrix a bitch. <laughs> so we'll, we'll do loosey goosey. But with the, I'll require some checks, basic, uh, uh, depending on how much you're going to be adding. Um, what are you trying to make this into? What do you want it to do? Uh, so I was thinking, very similar to Mothula's, that it's just going to add a plus one to a venture. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So I would say, I think I said that was like a level one or two item. So mm -hmm. you're going to have to add one, uh, one ingredient and then the catalyst. Okay. And here I am going to the Maker's Matrix anyway. Mm. <laughs> I know, right? Right? I've had a Maker in every single game. Yeah, I have to that... know it by now. Which which is worse, having a Maker in your game or being a Maker? Right. <laughs> you yeah. tell me. Uh, you tell me, you two. Hold on, let me pull up my copy of the Maker's Matrix. <clears throat> yeah. We'll and we'll just, we'll say that you do have you don't have to spend any money on these items because Thank all the you. level all the level one items are actually fairly cheap. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, they're like orbs. I'm able to. Mm -hmm. They're they're orbs, and actually, there's one where it's uh, it's the thought or something like that. It's it's yeah. The catalyst. Uh, the catalyst. It's like intent or like something like that, and it's free. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so he's gonna use the free one. Um. So he. He goes, okay, so first thing you're going to do, just like uh, how you would normally do with, uh, I think you said painting was your thing, like yes. the favorite. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you just, you got to put that magic. I tend to put it somewhere within the actual thing that it, that is being made. Uh, and so he takes the glass uh, by a hook, like just, and kind of puts it over and um, as he is using the spell, uh, he's been spending some time with Zephyr. And so rather than putting a physical thing in there, uh, he is trying to just like have it weave that thought and intent around. And so you start seeing the, the colors, the pink, the orange, the yellow, you see them kind of swirl around the orb. Um, with this intent what do i have to roll <laughs> how many levels in glass blowing do you have uh at this point like can i have more <laughs> i think you have at least one Let's see i don't think you can fail this for such a low level item if you at minimum spend an intellect bene okay i'll spend an intellect bene i only have a level one it looks like that's okay. Um, this is a very easy item. You're spent. It's a level one item. Your good intentions. The venture is two. So with your level in glass blowing and your plus uh, one from your intellect pool, you would succeed. So you don't okay. have to roll. Thank you. God, uh, imagine burning down your your basement again by making. I know a for an orb. Uh, so you 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 see all this, and. Uh, he puts it back on the cooling rack and he says, now that will, uh, if, if you use it, if you, you know, have that intent to use it, it will, it'll help you do something. It'll make you feel like just that little bit better. 
like in theory you could say oh it was just the confidence i didn't need it the whole time it was inside me it it helps it helps i promise so uh you want to try it with yours something similar yeah uh so what i would like to do there is could i sort of like half make this and what i mean by that is i want it to be able to so you know how roshni took the emotion leaf and used it to fill themselves with actual apathy yes can I create something similar, like an emotion sphere, but I just don't know what emotion I want to fill it with yet. So you want a, a vessel to hold an emotion? Yes. Okay. Yeah, um, this is basically just going to be... I'll say it has the magical capacity to do, like, a... Not a super strong emotion, maybe, like, yeah. rage. Mm -hmm. But um, maybe something, like sorrow or mm. apathy something a little mm. tamer yeah um, sure so i'll say this is a very low level effect like a level one yeah and it's not even intended to do anything mechanical it's just purely yeah. feelings so yeah and yeah. then i would use my because i have the i have the bleh. i have been a i can spend for my intellect pool mm -hmm. but i still need to roll uh, yes, because you... Okay. Oh, wait, nope, you have the plus one from your item. Yeah, from your, the... Your spell. The, yeah. Because I believe that lasts till the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so this would be adding the catalyst of good intentions. Mm -hmm. So you would succeed. All right. Hey, that looks pretty, pretty spot on. Thank you. Super cool. We can, uh, we can set those to cool so uh i mean do you have any questions do you have any concerns no concerns no questions yet but it feels like you want to say that that feels like a butt statement that feels like like you got a butt at the end of there oh but the only but at the end of there is i do imagine at some point i will come i will well should you be okay with it I might show up and troubleshoot. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's always, uh, I mean, I'm not going to say that my house is always open because if I say that, my neighbor will come into my house. Mm -hmm. But, uh, Carousel you know, will totally let you break into his house, though. I, I will, I will I'm allow that. Not uh, very good at breaking into places. So, do you want to learn that too? He's really good I at think it. I am think the I'm best okay. lock picker. I think I'm okay on that one for now. Do you even have your own forge? Me? Yeah, you. No. N not yet. Oh, good luck. So, oh. So, uh, I mean, you can you can absolutely come by if you need to use this forge in order to to do glass or wire stuff if you end up feeling like you would like to do that. Uh, but I will tell you that eventually getting your own is something to consider only yes. because uh, I know how hectic it can be using a forge mm -hmm. and uh, it gets a lot easier if it's your own. You yeah. know, it's, it's like children, like mm -hmm. they, they suck if they're someone else's, but if they're your own, like cool. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah and uh he he tests it out with a with a fingy and mm. they're they're cooled down do you do you want them both i'll just take mine you sure because uh i'm not gonna lie this one this one can help you play the bongos better <laughs> oh i already have something for that and i will reach into my bag and i will produce a small disembodied hand. I'll put it back in. High five. <laughs> I'll like pick the, the the hand back up, and first it's just like oh, like 
like sways there limply because like it's a fucking disembodied hand. But then suddenly it's like. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Can it pet me? I don't know. I'll sort of hold the hand by Metatron and it just it sits there and then just it's like. It's like very ineffectual, but. Okay, it's a start. It's a start. It can do a little better, but. You, now you need to make it, up for it. He stares up at you. <clears throat> oh, who are you? Oh, was that to Eleanor? That's to Eleanor. <laughs> oh, okay. Then yes, I will pet. I will pet. Mm, massive headbutts. I like this uh, one. She should be your apprentice. She seems, uh... Wait, apprentice? I don't... Am I allowed to have those? I don't think I'm allowed to have those. Am I that level? I don't know. That feels like... I mean... What goes into into being an apprentice? Into apprenticeship? Are you a asking, journeyman's robe? Are you asking mechanically or and or as carousel? Uh, I mean both. I'm playing it by ear. I don't... It's, there's nothing in the rules about it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and for her part, I'm just, uh, Eleanor is just like, I think even if you were allowed to have one, I don't think the makers would tell you. No, that's true. They are mysterious. Ooh. Yes. Uh, I mean, I, if you would like, I can absolutely apprentice see you. Set would say that's not a word. Set would not understand that the English language is always growing and changing with the times. I am Shakespeare. I sort of log that one, log that one away. Make, make sure to remind myself to look, look up what is English when I get home. Bless, bless. There and uh, you don't you don't have to say yes or no now like that it's, it's it a harebrained mind. idea there is however one last thing i do need to do and i will go into my bag and produce do 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 where is my this tap okay i will produce 50 crystal orbs and one mage coin you get 50 crystal orbs and a mage coin thank much preach puts <laughs> it in a pocket it's, uh, yeah, I'll apprentice, apprenticeship for journey, journey menu. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> bless. Fucking bless. Uh, okay, let's, let's head upstairs. Yeah. Metatron kind of weasels his way out of his PPE, like mm -hmm. a cat would, and then rushes past you on the stairs, intentionally you... running between your legs, mm -hmm. carousel. Not Eleanor, it's no. just yours. Mm. Please, no, please. Oh, God. Okay, it's fine. You didn't trip, so... I didn't I didn't trip, mm -hmm. but I saw my life flash before my eyes. As it should. Mm -hmm. And when you arrive um, back upstairs near the kitchen, Set is reading a very thick book. Like, when I say thick, I mean it's like five inches thick, and he's like four-fifths of the way through and he's like speed reading so it's like page and page and page and page like flipping and flipping and the book is not getting smaller you've seen this shit before Eleanor with your brother mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then Kara, uh, Metatron hops up on the counter and then Set scritches him behind the ears and they eat another couple more mini quiches you're, you're welcome to stay and hang out and, uh, you know, chat about your adventures. But also, I fully understand if you are busy and need to, like, head out. Mm. I think I have time for... I think I have time for a story, if you'd like to hear one. Heck yeah. Uh, here. And he, like, picks up the tray with all of the foods, puts it mm. onto the... Uh, coffee table and yeah. sits in one of the chairs mm -hmm. so i will tell i will tell 
carousel the story of how of the night after my brother emery graduated from being a journeyman to an actual like degreed vance and i preface all of this by letting you know that emery is the world's biggest trash fire he's like 100 disaster all the time and so i provide this wild story about just causing various problems all over Saturine, like being loud, everything from being loud and obnoxious on, on bars to getting into academic debates with people in some of which are still going on. Like I'll, I'll briefly mention that he's currently in the middle of like a years long conflict with this dude who lives in an amphitheater, like a few blocks over. And it's just all the wild and crazy antics of this very intelligent, but very energetic young man. Uh, Set I think he in. sounds like a fine fellow. Set pipes in. The he can be. Emery that's in an academic debate with Yasser? Yes. Yep. I'm sorry. Oh. This Wait, set you... says, I'm sorry to you, Eleanor. Mm. It's not always bad. I'm sorry that you need to handle him sometimes. Because he's a lot. He is a lot, that's true. I, I think he sounds like a fine fellow who should come over for drinks. Oh, I'll... I'm sure he would love that. I'll keep that in mind, Carr, and I will make sure that we have a lot of drinks. If you're worried about me burning the house down, you should wait until you meet him. Yeah. Look, all, all I'm saying is sometimes like a little disaster just makes your life better. Right? Oh, I agree. And then you can... You hear a little bit of muttering in set into his teacup. Nice way to describe yourself, Car. And I imagine uh, we we just continue mm. trading stories. Yeah. Uh, po probably drinks come out eventually. Mm -hmm. Before, uh, you know, it's, it's a. I have no doubt that it's probably set that says this because Carousel would never. Mm. But uh, it's it's getting kind of late. <laughs> it is. It is. I should probably get home. Uh, that's uh, Carousel stands up and offers his hand again. Yep, I will reciprocate. Shake, shake, shake. Uh, set will do the same. It was wonderful to meet you, and and you as well. Thank you for your time. Anytime you need help, anytime you need a kiln, anytime you want to pet my cat, please come on by. Please. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. And I will dip on it. Is there anything else that either would you like to say or do before we end? No, I think nope. that's the night. I think that's the night. So, Eleanor, you can take your levels in glass blowing as you continue to practice right. and learn. Super. <laughs> Uh, so thank you you two for having this lovely developmental scene that was great I love it um, so let's do sign off say where we can find you and who you are and etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, Gona our guest would you like to go first sure uh, so hi I'm Gona Hawking and you can find me at twitch at under Gona underscore Hawking uh, as well as on Twitter TikTok all the various social medias, that's how you can find me. Uh, I am a variety streamer who does anything from League of Legends to RPGs, scary games, TTRPGs, like I run the gamut. Uh, but I mostly pride myself on being chill, non-toxic, and just generally doing silly voices. And Alex? Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Alex. You can find me on Twitter at Phoenix Axolotl. I am no longer a degenerate college student. Congratulations. I have graduated. <laughs> I'm done. Yay. So I have no idea what the first quarter of 2022 is going to look like. Uh, a 2022. What the fuck? 
Anyway, less than a week but, when this airs. Yeah, actually, no, yeah. it will be 2022 Oof. when this. It will airs. be. Oh, I'm no. sorry, viewers. I'm sorry, 2022 <laughs> people. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be doing for first quarter 2022, but I am determined to do something <laughs> at some point on stream for next year. So. Hell yeah! Follow me on Twitter, and you can see what that will look like. And hi everybody, I am Mare. You can find me on Twitter at Archmage of Dice. I was I am the GM for this campaign. Um I'm not currently doing anything except GMing this campaign right now. This is pre-recorded, and we will be returning with regular sessions on the 9th of January in 2022. So uh yeah, follow the channel at Friends Who Roll Dice, and I hope you all have an amazing new year. Bye. Bye.